Don O'Malley with Don's Breakfast Cereal Show. Thanks for tuning in. Today we have part one of three of Son of Geronimo, Apache Avenger from 1952. Now this stars the great Clayton Moore as Jim Scott, who attempts to bring peace between the westbound settlers and the native Apaches. This was filmed between the years that Clayton Moore played the Lone Ranger on television. Also in this is Lyle Talbot, John Crawford, and Marshall Reed, all great actors. So thanks for tuning in. Here we go with the first few chapters. Thanks again. Arizona, land of blue skies, of great spaces, land of the painted desert, land of nature's masterpiece, the Grand Canyon, and homeland of the Apache Indians. In 1863, Arizona was made a territory, but to the Apache, it was still the land of his forefathers. As the tide of civilization moved westward, the Apache saw the game which provided his food being killed or driven away. Strangers settling on his tribal land, his villages attacked without warning, and his people massacred by white renegades. When once they might have met as friends, now there was a deadly struggle between red man and white. From the White Mountain Apaches of the north to the Nednes of the southwest, Six tribes of redskins rose as one to resist the invasion. Fiercest of all was a tribe from the headwaters of the Gila River, led by their chief, Mangus Colorado. And with them, a young warrior with the Indian name Gopiya, a name later changed in the heat of battle to one which was for many years to strike terror to every part of the great southwest, Geronimo. When their leader was treacherously killed after surrendering, Geronimo was chosen tribal war chief. He embarked on a war of vengeance without parallel in history, despite the efforts of the armies of two nations to capture. But despite wars and rumors of war, brave settlers came to make their home. It's coming along pretty good, eh? Sure is, Frank.
They didn't harm us. They were hungry. Which way that red skin went? Down that draw. talk to you. Sit down. You're Apache. You're a warrior. A brave. What is your name? Perico. Perico? That's the name of Geronimo's brother. You are too young. Me son, Geronimo. Geronimo's family was killed below the border in 58. Not all. When soldiers come Indian camp, they burn teepees, kill squaws, and children. Only one boy, Perico, escaped the rail. And this boy traveled for many sons. He find tribe of Nedney Apaches. Four times he go with warriors on war path. Then council say, Perico is warrior. Where is Geronimo, your father? Many would like to know that. The white father in Washington wishes to be at peace with his red brothers. He will give you food and land if you will leave the war path. Our chief, Mangus Colorado, has made promise like that. He made peace. White man killed him. That is true. The men who did this have been punished. That did not give our chief his life again. White men's promises are false. All white men are bad. Are all Indians bad? No. Neither are all white men. We must band together against the bad of both sides. White men always break treaty. Treaties have been broken by both sides. Tell your friends to be careful. You send soldiers wrong way. Why? They would have shot you. I want to be your friend. No. Organize it.
Indians give you any trouble? No, all they wanted was food. My name is Scott. Jim Scott. Howdy, Mr. Scott. I'm Frank Baker. Frank? This is my sister, Ann. How do, Miss Ann? We thought we'd make our home here and have a ranch. But with Geronimo on the warpath, I don't know if we can stick it out. Well, that's what's holding up the growth of all this territory. What does that mean? Another Indian attack somewhere. Why don't you and your sister go to that stockade they built just west of here? You want to? Not till we have to. That might be too late, Miss Ann. I know it was yours. Well, you know it now. Get. I told you to Tells me there's a general Indian uprising. He wants you to get your wagons to the stockade west of here. 
Everybody fill your wagons and get ready to roll. Come on, come on. Hurry it up. Well, come on, come on. Oh, dry up, you old goat. This fella Hardy had a wagon that was standing right there. One thing for sure, the Indians didn't get close enough to steal it. You know, that's what I was thinking. This man was shot at close range. He got powder marks on him. Well, he had a valuable load. He was going to open up a store. Looks like somebody in the caravan stole it. There's no chance now to check on who's missing. Seems like I've seen you somewhere before in a cavalry uniform. Maybe you did. What'd you do, desert or get kicked out? I'll tell you about it later. Take care of him. I'm gonna follow those tracks. Hey, you two, give me a hand. Are you a lawman? Yes, but not the way you mean it. And what? I'm a lawyer. I came west with a gun and a law book. I intend to make a fortune. I'm not particular how I do it. What do you want with me? You seem to have a pretty good business. How about taking on a partner? I don't know about that. I know a lot about you, considering the short time we've been acquainted. I already got some partners. Well, let's talk it over with them.
this way. can be able to take over command of the outlaws? Can anything stop these wild, vengeful Apache raids? Don't miss Running the Gauntlet, the second thrilling chapter of Son of Geronimo at this theater next week.
Rico slyly agrees to Ann Baker's request to send her and her brother to the stockade, while Jim Scott fights his way to join the besieged settlers. <laughs> Get inside. I'll be all right, thanks to you. <laughs> he didn't do it all. Where can I find a right? You won't need one for a while. I'm anxious to get back and see if our cab is safe. You reckon we could hire a couple of horses? You and your sister take ours. Toss and I'll round up a couple of Indian ponies. If you think I'm going to ride a dad burn flea bitten Apache Mustang, you're wrong. Dig up another. Dig up another, he said. Not even got a shovel. Toss and I'll ride along with you. Two more guns might come in handy. We're very grateful to you both. Come on, sis. You better get up in the water. Work fast. Yeah, trick I learned in old Russian days. Now, you didn't tell me how far you trailed Hardy's wagon after he was killed. I followed it up the canyon where the tracks led. There's a man riding alongside. Very well dressed and on a good horse. Sounds like the one who joined up with us in Fort Smith. Claimed to be a lawyer, kind of up in your life. What then? They were attacked by Indians. A party of white men came along and broke up the attack. The Indians headed my way, so I hauled out. Last time I saw the wagon, it was headed up the canyon. You know, I owned a half interest in the goods Hardy was carrying. With him gone, they're all mine. And I aim to find that wagon. I'd like to help you. Well, I promised the bakers we'd ride along with them. Their spread isn't far from the canyon. You don't care what you do with my time, do you? <laughs> Lance Rankin. He aims to join us. Howdy. Ace made an understatement. What he meant is I intend to lead you to our mutual benefit. You talk big on short acquaintance. I don't like this, Ace. Let's listen to him, Bat. How do we know he ain't the law? Come to find us and turn us in. We don't, but we can find out. All right. Let's find out right now. It's easy to see why you're just a penny ante outlaw. Boy, come on, come on. Take it easy. Take it easy. You wouldn't talk so big if you didn't have a drop on me. Now you talk. You don't show much sense giving your gun away like that. Now get on your horse and ride. So you can shoot me in the back? You're not so fast with your gun. Are you any better with your fists? Why don't you try me? I will. If I can't whip you, I'll leave. <laughs> Why don't you 
don't you stand still. Let's get down to business. You all know how many wagon trains are attacking Apache territory. Well, let the cavalry stop that. We don't want it stopped. All the Indians take is food, guns, and ammunition. There's thousands of dollars of valuable goods left to rot. That's right, left for anybody to take. Not for anybody, for us. Well, what do we want with it? That's what I'm coming to. My idea is to start a chain of stores along the southern Overland Trail. We sell the goods to the settlers and to the caravans that get through. Well, the Indians do the fighting for us. And we do the collecting. If we run short of goods, we steal back what we sold. Well, there's no harm in giving it a try. I have another bit of useful information. The Butterfield stage was routed north during the war. I have it straight, it's coming through this territory again. Well, that ought to give us some rich pickings. The stages carry gold from California and cash to the banks out there. As Ace says, it's ripe for the picking. Sounds good to me. You can count me in. I've saved the best for last. I'm a lawyer. If any of you get into a jam with the law, I know all the angles to get you out. We understand one another? All right, let's get organized. This is Ann Baker, my sister. Jim Scott and Tulsa. Howdy. We want a relay station in this district. Would you be interested in handling it for us? We'd help get the ranch started, Frank. That'd mean a lot more work for you, too. I don't mind. You'll need some help. How about your friends here? No, thanks. I'm fairly busy. He sure is. But nobody knows what he's up to. Hey, I'll take a job on my own terms. What are they? Time off whenever I want it, no questions asked. You're hired. Won't you come inside? I'm sure I can find some food. Thanks. Save some for me. I'll be back for you. The fury of the Indian attacks increased. Swift rage which kept the small force of cavalry always on the move and always too late. Cleverly planned by the great war chief of the Apaches, Geronimo. A campaign of terror and vengeance. And like an evil wraith appearing from nowhere, the warrior who calls himself the son of Geronimo.
Jesus. All right, men. Better drive. Remember, you send soldiers wrong way. I made a mistake. Rico will give you a chance. The only chance I want is to talk to Geronimo. No. Give chance, same you give Rico. You kill white men because you're afraid of him. Look what! Exciting adventure lies ahead for Tulsa. Has somebody dared attack the outlaw hideout? Don't fail to see Stampede, the third exciting chapter of Son of Geronimo, at this theater next week. Attempting to establish a peace treaty with the Apaches, Jim Scott is captured by Porico, the young warrior who claims to be the son of Geronimo.
I glad to see you. You the one who drove off the Indians? Well, somebody had to. I figured you were in trouble the minute I seen that horse. I brought you out this way, Tulsa. Let's talk about that as soon as you put some distance between us and that camp back there. It's a good idea. Maybe you were looking for the wagon stolen from the caravan. Maybe I was. I owned a half interest in it. With Hardy Dad, it's mine now. Just before the Indians jumped me, I saw a couple of wagons being driven away from here. Oh, probably some settlers passing through. Uh, the settlers would stick to the trail. These wagons were heading up into the rock country. Well, trailing them might lead to mine. Yeah, maybe it would. Well, stop gabbing and lead the way. Let's go. headed this way from the valley. If they're looking for trouble, they'll find it. Come on, men, mount up! All right, come on, let's go! Visitors. Probably got a hideout up there. I'll bet you that's where my wife is. Keep down. Get going. I'll cover you. I got one. Let's make it a pair. Scared them off. Well, are we going after them? No, we're not. We'd have got them if you didn't have two left hands. Well, they're liable to be back. Let them. We'll be ready for them. Come on. Sure you're okay? Oh, it ain't the first time I've been creased. Probably won't be the last. But what riles me is running away from fight and not getting my wagon. That wasn't a fight. We didn't even get started. Well, by golly, I'm going back to get it. You'd better bring the cavalry. Cavalry? <laughs> All they do is chase around them and never get in. It's too bad those snoopers got away. They must have been looking for something. Well, they wouldn't have if Bat hadn't knocked that rock loose. He might have done it on purpose. He's always resented my taking over this outfit. Oh, Bat wouldn't do a thing like that. He's always having accidents. <laughs> well, maybe you could arrange for him to have one that's fatal. Hey, Dar, it's time for you to relieve Cliff up at the lookout. Right. I hear the Butterfield stage is definitely coming through here again. They'll have a new relay station on the Gila River Trail. Well, that'll be right handy. Those stages should give us a nice income. Enough to start a string of stores. Then we can start selling this stuff we've been collecting. And plenty more where that came from. Providing the Apaches don't get to it first. That'll be your job.
it look? Wonderful, Frank. You're really in business. I'll believe that when I see the first stage arrive. You won't have to wait long. Here it comes now. How was the run? There's Indian trouble east of here. Sure it was white renegade trouble. I have another name for him. We passed what was left of a wagon train near Gopher Wells and the ruins of a ranch about an hour's ride back. Them redskins must be heading this way. That's what I was thinking. I got a box of money bound for Frisco. A couple of us will ride with you to Painted Fork. That'll get you through the worst part of the country. Well, there goes one prize the Apache's missed. Let's make sure. How? The nearest Apache camp is Perico's. See what he's up to. All right. Not a trace of them. Land at the stage, you wouldn't have seen them. Unless they took another trail further west. Here she comes, just as advertised. Hey, look, Apaches. Let's get into this. Not yet. Let them do the rough work, like Rankin said. chance, Jim. The Apaches were too much for him. There are others here beside Apaches. Indians don't shoe their horses. I'll bet that the same bunch who stole my wagon. They got the strong box, too. We know where they'll go. Remember what happened there last time, Jim. We'll have help this time.
Hurry. Rico's attacks to become even bolder, will the outlaws and the Apaches band together against the settlers? Be sure to see Apache Ally, the fourth action chapter of Son of Geronimo, at this theater next week. Jim and Tulsa pursue the Indians and outlaws who attacked and robbed the stage. As a detachment of cavalry arrives, Jim and Tulsa trail for Rico. Apache bullet catch you, Tulsa. It didn't. I was just ducking the shots, and I reckon I ducked them right too far and fell off, that's all. I was hoping to have another power with Perico, who calls himself the son of Geronimo. How are you gonna do that when the whole U.S. Army couldn't corral him? Well, the Army helped us corral those white renegades, didn't they? Well, we better double back and lend him a hand. Six of them hold up in them rock up there. Six of them in the strong box they stole from that stage. Well, at this rate, none of us will ever get close enough to even smell that money. I'm gonna try. Tulsa, keep me covered. Right.
fix the cartridges. I'm running low. You better ease out. Grab the strong box. It's gone! Gone? It can't be. You had it. Come on. Them's the buzzards that stole my wagon. We're the ones who recovered the strong box. Huh? Well, I'll be doggone. How are you going to get it out of here? We can get a rig at the relay station and haul it in tonight. <laughs> That's beating them at their own game. I reckon them buzz are still trying to figure out where how it disappeared. Let's get to our horses. We were out of ammunition. There was nothing left to do but hightail it back here. Without the strong box. Well, um, maybe those two galoots who brought the cavalry in might know what become of it. Did you recognize them? One was an old coot that I have seen someplace before. His part is considerable younger. Yeah. That could be Jim Scott. Nobody seems to know just what he is. The old man is called Tulsa. He does odd jobs around the relay station. How'd you know so much, Rankin? I dropped by the relay station and learned that, among other things. What else? An army supply wagon loaded with new rifles and ammunition is en route to Fort Nelson along the old Spanish trail. It has only a small escort. By starting now, we could head off that wagon and get it up here by sundown. Right. And I'm going along to prevent any more mistakes. Maybe Perico and his Indians will get a notion to rustle that wagon. I hope you'll try. The outcome should be most interesting.
out the army wagon. I think we can handle the situation. With empty guns? The Apaches don't know that. We use the only weapon we have left. Bluff. What is Perico? One drive in the wagon. I've heard many stories about the bravery of the son of the famous Geronimo. We come as friends. We show our weapons only to protect ourselves. If you come as friends, you not need weapons. Put down your guns. We're fighting the settlers and the soldiers the same as you are. There's no reason for us to fight each other. Let's make a treaty between us. Come to my camp and we'll talk it over as friends. Huh? Every day, wagons come from the east. They carry rich goods, things we both can use. We will help you attack them. Then you can take what you want from them. We will take what you don't want. Indian need more rifles, bullets to shoot, food. You will have all that and more. We will help you get it. We will fight together as brothers. We fight together, but not as brothers. Our treaty only good until white man breaks, as he break all others. That suits me, because we will never break it. If I had a pipe of peace, we would smoke to it. Apache not use peace pipe. Not bad. The Indians do all the work and we take all the loot. Shut up. You want them to hear you? Ace, bring our friends some rifles and cartridges. Here you go. another way we may become rich. The stage lines are running again and carrying many valuables. I thought you were Jim Scott in Tulsa. I've been waiting supper for all of you. Where'd they go? They took the rig to bring in the strong box. Good. I'll be in as soon as I unhitch the team. Frank, can't that wait. I've warmed things up twice already. All right, sis, let's eat. That was right careless leaving that load unguarded. We can use it. Let's lead the wagons down the road a ways, then get our horses. wagon. Well, it don't belong out here on the road.
stage line be able to survive these continued attacks by the Apaches? Is Tulsa also to become a victim of the Indians? Don't fail to see Indian Ambush, the fifth smashing chapter of Son of Geronimo at this theater next week. Renegades attempt to steal a wagon from the Baker Ranch. Jim and Tulsa, returning with the stolen strong box, discover them and... We couldn't get close enough to take a shot at him. Well, I was close enough to one of them, but the wagon went into a draw. Where was you? On the wagon. Get killed? How was it like that joke, you know? <laughs> close to move, baby boy. Get Are we in for more trouble from the raiders? I think it was just a couple of petty outlaws. What were they after? Probably wanted a wagon to make tracks for California. They'll stay right here if I see them again. Under six feet of good sod. You staying here tonight? Yeah, Frank. I want to meet the morning stage. Back to the visitors? A little personal business. I never saw a man whose business was so dad burned personal. I'm turning in. Good idea. <laughs> Thanks for bringing in the strong box. having trouble. And get some extra ammunition. Let's get to our horses.
to be Jim Scott. That's right, sir. I'm Colonel Forster. Colonel? I'd like to have a talk with you. Suppose you join me for breakfast. I'm sure Miss Baker has it ready. Gladly. Take him away. My guard was shot off about a half mile down the road from where you found us. I'll send a man down to check on it. Hank! Hank, ride back down the road a ways and check on what happened to our guard. Zeke will tell you where to look. You know that sharp turn just below Willow Springs? It's just beyond there a piece. Ah, this certainly looks wonderful, Miss Baker. I'll guarantee it, Colonel. Your early morning excitement has given you good appetite. He's the third guard of Lost in a month. Well, you ought to carry more than one guard when you're carrying valuables. Ain't carry nothing but the three you saw get off. Hey, uh, one of them look like a colonel. He ought to. He is a colonel. Come from Washington. Agent back at Deming told me he was carrying important orders to Fort Bowie. Yeah. Yeah, this is probably a lot of talk. Maybe not. There's a rumor that the government's going to make peace with Geronimo so it can clean up the outlaws. They're getting worse than the Apaches. contact Geronimo. Unfortunately, no. Well, don't be discouraged. The armies of the United States and Mexico haven't been able to do so either. I've located a young Apache who claims to be his son. He calls himself Perico. I'm hoping he'll lead me to Geronimo. Well, tell me about him. Well, I've done this trail for some time. I picked him up one day when a couple of troopers were chasing him. I saw which way he went. Sent the troopers on a false trail and then chased Perico. When I couldn't see him on the trail ahead, I figured he had gone into ambush. Luckily, I figured correctly. He was really lame for me. And if I hadn't have moved fast, I wouldn't be here telling you about it. He told me how he escaped a massacre in 58 when Geronimo's family was supposed to have been wiped out. Hmm, that's news. You see, I thought I was gaining his confidence, but some of his braves showed up and he went away with them. We've had several contacts since then. Mostly hostile. Well, Scott, you've made a good start, so keep on. I'm going to Fort Bowie for staff meetings. I've got some new orders from Washington. I think you'd better go along with me. All right, Colonel. I'll join you on the stage. This is quite a pleasant surprise, eh? I'm going to Cactus to do some shopping. and catch the first stage back. All right, Zeke, take it away. It's the guard from the morning stage who was shot by the Indians. Well, let's get him inside. Wait, I got something to tell you. It's important. What is it? Indians, big bunch headed south. To attack the stage again? You take care of him. I'll see if I can overtake the stage. I'll get on. Thank you. 
The Indians are after the stage. The stage is safe. We just passed it. You look as if you could stand a bath. Oh, that's on the outside. On the inside, I'm even drier. <laughs> we'll get you back to the station. You better keep your eye on that stage. There's more than Indians interested in it. You got any news? Yeah, for race. Is he here? They're all up to hideout. You. They're too busy down at the station worrying about Fort Boy to worry about me. You have some news? What's happening? What is that? Well, there's trouble brewing. There's an officer being sent out from Washington with orders to wipe out all outlaws. I take it that officer's on his way to Fort Boy. When the state's coming in now. The answer's simple. Those orders mustn't reach Fort Boy. How do you aim to stop? That's easy. If the stagecoach doesn't get there, the passengers won't either. Finley? Did you bury that blasting gelatin we took off the ammunition wagon? Yeah, it's safe. Dig up some of it and set a charge at Devil Canyon Bridge. Right. Get ready to move out. will come of that growing resentment against Rankin? Will Perico wipe out the Baker Relay Station? See what happens in Trap by Fire, Chapter 6 of Son of Geronimo, at this theater next week. bringing orders to wage war on the outlaws. He and his renegades plot to destroy the stage and all on it. Hey, Colonel Foster, jump! Follow me. 
towards those rocks. Good idea, Scott. The stage won't get to Fort Boy. Neither will the people in it, which is more important. Let's get Cliff and Finley get out of here. down the bank below the road. One of them's the cavalry colonel we're after. Well, we don't want any survivors. Finley, you stay here with the horses. That's right. Cover your faces. safer than going down there after the business. Take a couple of the boys. Work your way around behind them. Why should these outlaws be so anxious to kill us? Perhaps they found out the colonel has orders to wipe them out. They should give a lot for a troop of cavalry right now. How much, colonel? Let's get out of here! Scott, you don't happen to have second sight, do you? No, sir. I just heard them and hope for the best. You were never more welcome. Thank you, sir. Tulsa, one of these outlaws looked a lot like a man working at the stage station. Yeah? Check on him when you get back. Aren't you going there? I'm going to Fort Boyd with Colonel Foster. I'll be back soon. I've still got that shopping to do. You'll have an escort now. Those people should never have escaped from the stage. This Jim Scott's becoming a menace to our future. Well, why don't you let Perico take care of him? He hasn't had any more luck than we had. I've allowed myself to be influenced by your desire for direct action. It's all you know and it's no good. We've got to be smarter. You got any big ideas? Yes, I have. I'll close the deal for that store at Three Oaks. It'll be the first of our chain and I'll open a law office as part of it. Bat, don't go back to the Baker place. Somebody's sure to recognize you. Now, wait a minute. I did a lot of good there. Didn't I find that colonel for you? You heard me. That's an order. Send a wagon load of goods to Three Oaks tomorrow. He's been using us. Now he's gonna ditch us and go his own way. Could be. We'll see. We'd better look out for ourselves. Now I'm going back to that state station in spite of what he said. I don't see any harm in that. Of course you don't. There ain't none. And we better do like we used to do. Find out about things, then go take care of them. 
Look, better have Cliff check with me tomorrow. Might have something good. We can use some more law around here. as much stuff as we could. Good. Start unloading. We'll be in business. Right. I see you did your shopping, sis. Yes, but I almost didn't make it. I know, Tulsa told me. Did you find the man Jim Scott told us about? I have some more packages in the stage. I'll get them. Come over here, I have something to tell you. Jim recognized one of the outlaws. He's our new man. What's he want us to do? Lock him up till Jim gets here. We got a job to do, Tulsa. Give me the bundles. I'll take care of them. Get loose from that. What is it? Jim Scott will explain that when he gets here. Jim Scott? Well, I don't even know him. No, but he knows you, and that's enough. We'll lock him up in the shed. Now get Walt. Now get over there. the stage on its way. I'm looking for Ace. I got some news for him. He's up at the hideout. What is it? I reckon Ace will tell you. Listen, Cliff, if you're smart, you'll play along with me. Maybe you're right. Pat went back to the relay station. Against my orders. They got him locked up. They'll make him talk, and that'll be the finish of all of us. What can we do? This time, I'll handle it. You'll find Perico and his Indians near Dead Man's Butte. Tell Perico to raid the Baker station. I'll ride along with him, just to make sure of bat. No, you bring him here. I'll settle with him and then with Ace. I'll get going. Thank <laughs> you. 
Who's inside? happen when Rankin and Bat meet again? Will Rankin be able to hold his leadership of the outlaws? For the amazing answers, see our sinister scheme, chapter seven of Son of Geronimo at this theater next week. Foxes attack the relay station and rescue the outlaw, Bat. Meanwhile, Jim Scott is on his way back from Fort Bowie.
a cavalry horse. Looks like Jim's. Hey, look. Now, what have you been up to? Rico and a party of braves tried to trap me in a grass fire. They also attacked the relay station. What were they after? That outlaw we were holding captive. The Apache had helped him get away. It means the Apaches and outlaws have joined forces. Well, one of the white outlaws is with them. Let's get back. Thank you for helping me out of that jam at the relay station, Lankin. I suppose you told him everything you know. You think I'm loco? You wouldn't have to be loco, just scared. Look, I wasn't that scared. You know me better than that. All I know is you disobeyed my orders. Going back to that relay station wasn't my idea, it was Ace's. You've been getting your ideas from the wrong place, Pat. I might have to do something about you. I think I'll go back to the hideout. I was just about to suggest that. Let's all go. Well, I don't hear any. Well, my horse didn't act up for nothing. Look around. There it is. Boy, oh, you shot him. I had to. You saw him pull a gun on me, didn't you? I thought he was pulling on the rattler. A wise man believes what he sees, not what he thinks. Get his horse. Dad won't be needing him. He had an accident. What kind of an accident? Seems he didn't like the way I was running this outfit. I was forced to shoot him in self-defense. Too bad Dad isn't around to tell his side of it. He told me plenty. Nobody ordered you to send him back to that relay station, Ace. Nobody had to. I figured we could learn the movements of those stages and wagon trains firsthand. You didn't figure he'd be captured. I was forced to use the Indians to rescue him. We got nothing to worry about. Nothing except what he might have told them. That wouldn't do that. I think he would. And I'm going to find out. Frank, you don't seem to like your ideas, Ace. Well, that works two ways. I don't like his story about that. Think maybe he lied? Cliff ought to know. What really happened between those two? Well, Frank had claimed he heard a rattlesnake. They both went for their guns, and Fat got shot. All we've got is Rankin's word. It was an accident. Well, that ain't good enough for me. Hey, Jim. Who's this coming? You seen him before, Tulsa? I sure did. He was traveling with our wagon train the time Hardy's rig was stolen. It's about when I first saw him. Let's see what he wants. Did you come west with a wagon train recently? Yes, I did. My name's Tulsa. I was wagon boss of that train. Of course, I remember you now. Then you remember Jed Hardy, my partner. 
Somebody murdered him and stole his rig during that Indian attack. Well, that seems to be a common ailment in this territory. Do you know who was responsible? No, but it's kind of hoping maybe you do. Especially since I followed the tracks of that wagon and spotted you riding with it. Now, just who are you, mister? Well, I'm not the outlaw you think. I'm Rance Rankin, a lawyer. I came west to contribute my share toward the growth of this new land. Maybe you'd better explain what you were contributing while that wagon train was under attack. I'll do better than that. I think I can describe the man you're looking for. Well, start describing. Well, on the day you mentioned, we were all pretty busy fighting Apaches. Then people began yelling the cavalry was coming, and we knew we were safe. I was checking over my horse for possible injury, and I heard a shot close by. I was just in time to see your friend Hardy killed by a stranger. I later knew him as Ace Devlin. Before I could act, Devlin had climbed on the wagon and was driving off. I realized it was my duty to try and overtake this murderer and recover Hardy's property. Ace Devlin wasted no time in heading for the back country. I trailed him, curious to see where he'd go. I overtook the wagon and ordered the driver to stop. Ace had other ideas, but I didn't give him much chance to use them. I explained what I knew about him. Devlin realized he was trapped. He confessed looting settlers' wagons and offered to lead me to a hiding place of a vast hoard of stolen goods. I agreed to go with him, planning to return the stuff to its rightful owners. Suddenly, we were attacked by a party of Indians. I transferred into the wagon, hoping we could outrun the Apaches. But they headed us off. Devlin and I were forced to rein in and make a stand. Just as the situation began to look hopeless, five white horsemen unexpectedly rode out of the hills. They made short work of driving off the Indian. It was then that I realized that Devlin had tricked me. The five men also were outlaws. They took me to a canyon hideout and kept me a prisoner. Just recently, I managed to escape. Can you lead us to that hideout? That would be useless. I sneaked back there myself and found the place deserted. What brings you down this way, Rankin? I bought the old store at Three Oaks. Set up a law office there, too. Just paying a friendly visit and perhaps drum up some trade. We had a client for you, but he got away. Who was that? One of them outlaws. Did he say anything that might lead you to the others? He didn't have a chance to say anything. Well, I'll be getting along. Drop in and see me. We might do that. Straight yarn. As far as it goes. You ever been to Three Oaks, Tulsa? Yeah, it ain't much of a place. Maybe Rankin isn't much of a lawyer. Well, he seems to be willing to help. Where's Frank and his sister? They're resting up. Too much excitement. Let's take a ride. Any special reason for it? Maybe we can find one. <laughs> Is anybody home? It's far enough. Guess Rankin isn't here. By jumping Jupiter! That's them! What then? Them bucks! This is part of the stuff that's on Hardy's wagon. Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. I upload them boxes. And there's no mistaking them markers. I wonder if Rankin knows he's dealing in stolen goods. Well, he'll soon find out. If Rankin is involved, you'll only put him on his guard. Anyway, I'll get my stuff back. It won't get us Hardy's killer. It's my guess the outlaws won't be too far away from the next caravan that moves into this area. Well, there's a big caravan camped over on Medicine Creek. I'm going to join that party before it gets into trouble. Heading west across the flat. Somebody better ride to Three Oaks and tell Rankin. Forget him. We're taking this prize ourselves. Rankin's orders were for us to stay here. I ran this outfit before we ever heard of Rankin. Sure, Ace. Sure. Anybody else got any wrong ideas? What about that wagon train? How big is it, Dar? Too big. We'll need the Indians to help us. We'll handle that caravan alone. Five men can't take a caravan that size. No. Get a keg of blasting powder, some picks and shovels. We'll be ready for that wagon train by the time it reaches Coyote Pass. Come on, you're wasting time!
Puerto Rico learn how Rankin has been tricking him? What do the outlaws hope to find in these stolen wagons? Be sure to see Prisoners of Puerto Rico, Chapter 8 of Son of Geronimo, at this theater next week. Back already, that was Son of Geronimo, Apache Avenger, from 1952, starring Clayton Moore. And we'll be showing more chapters next week, so I hope you tune in. And if you can, catch me on YouTube under Donald O'Malley or Don's Breakfast Cereal Show. Give it a like and subscribe, and you'll never miss one of my shows. So good night, folks. Stay safe. See you next week.